I don't know how you put it in their heart, not in their head. I don't know how you get them to embrace the moment, want their... I don't know how you do that. But what I do believe is this, and this is not a shot at Tiger Woods at all because I'm so happy to see him come back and be who he is. It's not a shot at Phil Mickelson. No one's ever been a bigger Phil fan than I have. But the minute I think we flush out this guard... The minute we we lose uh, Furyk as captains and Stricker as captains and Woods and, and Mickelson as players and get rid of the guys that have the hangover, it is not a coincidence that the best American on foreign soil this time around was Justin Thomas. Mm-hmm. It is not a coincidence that that guy is the guy that has really experienced nothing but team success at the President's Cup and has no hangover from crushing defeats and press conferences and mics shoved in his face about how horrible you were. It is not a coincidence that he was the guy that was hands down the best American. Tony Fino. Tony Fino. Two, Thank you. Yeah. Thank Rookie. you. These are not coincidences. Yeah. Even so, Jordan Spieth, my, uh, except for the same. Webb Simpson. I hate points. to yeah. say this, but if you really wanted to blow this thing up, if you really wanted to win this thing, God, this is going to sound awful and it's going to sound controversial, <laughs> but you would not have Tiger Woods. You would not have Phil Mickelson. You would not have Jim Furyk. You would not have Steve Stricker. You would not have Bubba Watson. You would not have anybody over the age of 35 that's been attached to this team in any way in the last 15 years, 20 years in Wisconsin. I would blow up the whole thing. I would say, here's our captain, and I would have nothing but kids on that team with nothing but good positive tastes in their mouth.